strongly about hair. We do. We do feel strongly about hair. <laughs> <laughs> So I think the vampire hair has really evolved. Mm, totally. We have like the original, you know, with the little, like the monsters, the little widow's peak, well, and the original mm -hmm. Dracula and the little white wings, kind of like mm -hmm. Polly a la Sopranos vampiric um, look. Very good. Yeah. Good for movies, but not really working for you as a man. <laughs> no. Not no. a style you sit down with your barber and say, excuse me, good sir. women get super hot about vampires. We do. Right? It's just a thing. It I is. don't I don't know. I don't think we should go into the psychology of it all. However, it somewhere along the line, people picked this up and started making vampires with hot hair. And Rice <laughs> totally goes the Fabio route. Right? That's true, and I have to say that wasn't working for me as well. Me I'm neither. not really, yeah, I'm not about the long. I'll take you know. my hair. I'm a pompadour girl, <laughs> totally. But totally. I think they did at least, they like, at least with Anne Rice, they they cast you know Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yep. If you're gonna try to make long hair work, that's probably the way to go. And the pretty boy thing. So she really gets into the like, if you're attracted to boys who like are just teetering on some kind of a gay relationship and oh, yes. you like them with like pretty handsome faces and long flowing hair, the, these stories are for you. And I can respect that. I don't really respond to it. I don't really respond, but I think that is when the whole metrosexual movement Especially, you know, we are New Yorker, mm -hmm. actually originally Jerseyite That's women. That's right. Represent. So, yes. Buffy was the first show to really appreciate the the good look of, of like the vampire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Buffy, and it's the first show where we saw like our vampires kind of had boy band hair. Totally. Like I feel like Angel kind of had that Backstreet Boys thing mm -hmm. going for him. Right. It was kind of that time. Gel? Oh yeah, the little like. <laughs> I ran my fingers through it. Oh yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> and Spike was kind of like Sid Vicious, you know? Oh, totally. He was kind of Sid Vicious if you really look at him, though. He also kind of was like a little in sync looking. Right? But yeah, he and Justin Timberlake could have been uh, twins at the time. Right. Sid Vicious is, is a better. Totally. It was his more his attitude. It was that rocker. Yep. Thing. The Vampire Diaries, too. I think they are continuing the tradition of, of good hair in mm -hmm. their characters. Because Stefan, awesome hair. You could just like grab a handful. It's, well, and Damon. <laughs> Damon, you have good hair. There you go with the hair, <laughs> right? Am I right? But. You are right, yes. <laughs>